Some of the shortcomings of Nissan Fundaplication, which has been the gold standard operation for decades, are the very things that have led to an interest in developing newer techniques for taking care of reflux. Specifically, when a Nissan Fundaplication is used for reflux disease, the patient may not be able to vomit or belch as well as they would like to. It also involves rearranging the patient's anatomy in a sense because we have to take a part of the stomach to wrap it around the esophagus. The Lynx device, which goes by the proper name of a magnetic sphincter augmentation procedure, was engineered to try and get around some of those problems. We know that when a patient eats, their lower esophageal sphincter tends to pull open, much like if one were to blow up a small balloon, the neck of the balloon disappears onto the balloon itself. The valve in the esophagus suffers in the same way when the stomach gets distended, the valve pulls open. The magnetic sphincter device is a string of rare earth magnets encased in titanium, linked together with titanium connectors that can be placed laparoscopically around the esophagus. Once it's in position, the magnetic force is such that when the patient swallows, it allows the food to pass into the stomach. But the magnetic force is calibrated based on measurements that we do during surgery in order to resist the pressure that wants to cause regurgitation. Now, under the circumstances where the patient needs to belch or vomit, there typically is a much higher pressure in the abdomen, and that is successful in reopening those beads, that bracelet uh, effect of the Lynx device, and allowing the patient to empty their stomach. When we look back at patients that have had the Lynx procedure, over 99% report no difficulty with burping or vomiting. They also report excellent control of regurgitation along the same lines, about 99%. 94% patient satisfaction long term, probably because there's a lessened side effect of bloating and inability to belch. And the majority of patients, around 90%, are going to have no requirement for medication after the procedure. The long term effectiveness of the Lynx device has now been proven for time periods out beyond, well beyond five years. We have seven year data now and we have patients in the world who have had the device longer than that. Uh, there has never been a patient death related to the Lynx device, nor has any patient ever had to have a part of their stomach or esophagus removed because of a complication. And there has been no mechanical failure of the device in any, uh, in any fashion. So when I'm talking to patients about what their treatment options are, we are typically offering them the traditional Nissen fundaplication or variation of that, or the Lynx, the magnetic sphincter augmentation device. There are certain criteria that would exclude a patient from being able to have a Lynx device or the magnetic sphincter augmentation. The best example would be a patient who has very poor esophageal function, such that when they swallow, they simply cannot generate enough pressure to separate those beads and allow the food to pass in the stomach. There are other relative contraindications, for instance, patients that have strictures or heavy scarring in their esophagus, they may not be a good candidate because their stricture requires dilation and the uh, magnetic device may not be compatible with, with that need going forward. So we want to make sure that patients have had their strictures managed before we would consider doing a Lynx device. We carefully measure that esophageal function that I talked about with testing called high resolution manometry. Other than that, the device has proven very effective in our patients. Early on, it was limited to a very low power MRI unit. Now we have uh, the allowance for a 1.5T or Tesla MRI. 99, excuse me, 90% of the MRI installations in this country are uh, at that level or lower. So that means that it's very unlikely that a Lynx patient is going to encounter the need for a MRI that they cannot have simply because the device is in place. Once it's in place, it doesn't require any particular adjustments. Uh, it is considered a lifetime implantation, and that's what we look forward to uh, seeing for the patients is a lifetime of reflux relief.